Good day to you viewers, the <laughs> I nearly said it then. <laughs> the Colonel speaking to you live from the Preceptory of British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. I don't represent the Conservative Party, I represent a very old-fashioned Conservative Party, not this bunch of spibs we've got. Anyway, um, it brings me on to... I, I'm doing a series of political recordings from the 1929 election. This is the Columbia 5339, the Conservative Party. Part 4, How to Vote at the Election. <laughs> Speech by the Right Honourable Sir Laming Worthington Evans, Baronet. GBE MP, Secretary of State for War. That's what we need nowadays, a war minister. Here we go. Let's see what, hear what he's got to say. It's probably terribly boring, but uh, these are historically interesting. So here we go. Oh dear. I ask you to vote for the Conservative candidate. At this election, you are going to decide for or against nationalization. We Conservatives believe in individual liberty, in the right to live and carry on business without interference, subject to the rights of others. We are against nationalization. We believe that individual enterprise renders better service than does a state-owned factory or shop conducted by state officials. We would rather choose our own tradesmen than go to the state store. We would rather make our own choice than be forced to buy the state pattern from the state store. The post office is state-owned, but it is a monopoly and quite different from a business competing in the world's markets. Municipal tramways, electric light and water supply are also monopolies and do not have to trade in competition with others. We obtain more than half our food from abroad in exchange from our, for our manufacturers and we risk starvation if we fail in the world's competition. Nationalization of the means of production and distribution has only been tried on a large scale in Russia. Its opponents have been killed or exiled, and no one is permitted to complain. But prices are higher and supplies are scarce. People have to queue up to get what they require. If you vote for a Labour candidate, you will run the risk of nationalisation here in England, with loss of liberty and higher prices. We Conservatives can be trusted. We are not a class party. We have much more right to call ourselves representatives of the workers than the Socialist Labour Party. In the last four years, all classes have benefited. Our employment policy is succeeding. For 550,000 more persons are employed than in 1924. Nearly 800,000 houses have been built for the workers. Road improvements have cost millions. Agricultural land and farm buildings have been relieved of all rates. Credits have been made available for farmers. Income tax has been reduced for all. A man with wife and three children with 400 a year all earned is absolutely freed from income tax. Over 200,000 widows have pensions, over 220,000 children have allowances, more than 500,000 men and women between 65 and 70 have old age pensions. The tax on sugar has been reduced by a farthing a pound, and the tax of fourpence a pound on tea has been abolished. You are saving fourpence to eightpence a week on the cost of your tea and sugar. We Conservatives do not talk only, we act. And you can trust us to continue to act in the interest of all classes. The Labour Party is full of promises. The Conservative Party is the people's party of performance. We stand for peace, progress and prosperity. Peace abroad between all nations, peace at home amongst all classes progress in social welfare and prosperity in trade to ensure employment. 
I think he's finished. Well, that's what you call oratory viewers. That's what we don't get nowadays. Part of the evil of Blair. Never mind. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you and goodbye.